just to give you a quick background, as part of our human-centered design approach, uh, we wanted this project to be as near to our customers as possible and wanted the customer to play a major role in co-creating this vehicle with us together. We have publicly launched the project at the beginning of March with eight initial Twitter polls which have defined the fundamentals of the vehicle such as uh, the position of the engine, seating position, is it a one-seater or, uh, or a two-seater, or are the wheels covered or open, these kind of things. We have received uh, 220,000 votes from the gaming community uh, within a period of less than two weeks, which literally blew our minds and really gave us the courage to continue on this path and uh, engage the gamers in uh, co-creating designs. So firstly, what I was really excited about this exoskeleton kind of uh, idea that you feel the body torsion on your own body. I think that's, that's an extremely exciting idea. I actually like, you know, the diversity. Um, so the one, one being the jet, one being number four, which I find extremely innovative. To me, that is, that is a, that's the next generation GT. It's a digitally enabled execution. Um, you know, uh, there's two people in the interior and they're, and they're both gaming and they're both relating to each other. To me, that does kind of a minimal requirement. It's quirky. I guess if you wanted something that was different that would you know that would be your pick you really seem to have gone and and really grasp the opportunity of this being you know, a purely uh digital gaming based uh you know vehicle design this one to me was just a beautiful car um i, I saw a lot of beauty in, in this design um the cues to the gt90 and the gt are are very present 